Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Journey's End. Oh, uh, just, just taking a nice, comfortable nap in the middle of the day, because you know what, why not? Apparently you can take naps now. Yeah, I didn't know that. Just sit there, uh, take a nap and lay down. But yeah, now it is time to wake up, stretch a little bit, go out. Ah, a nice deep breath of fresh air, and we are going to head off on another adventure. In the last episode, we explored a little itty bitty tiny bit of the desert and learned very much so that I am not ready to go down there yet. So, I figure since the jungle is just as inhospitable and the underground, we've already kind of been there, I think this time we're going to make a nice little trek over to the snow biome and see what we can find over there. I took a look at the, uh, Painter's bestiary entry, and it appears as though it is the jungle is where he likes to live. Which, I guess that kind of makes sense, because I, I seem to remember quite a handful of quotes. It might have been him talking about rich mahogany and that being his favorite kind of wood. So, I assume that is, that's why that is the case, why he likes the jungle so much. I disagree. While the jungle looks very, very cool, it is also extraordinarily dangerous. So, for right now, I'm going over to the snow biome. That's what we're gonna do. I'm probably gonna end up getting an NPC that likes to live there at some point, I'm sure, but I don't know when. I don't know which ones are left. We still have the, well, I, as if I have never played Terraria before, but it, it, I forget which ones are where and when they show up. I know the Goblin Tinkerer needs to show up. I'm pretty sure the snow is probably not for him. I get an underground vibe from him because that's where you find him. I know the mechanic is going to move in after we get through there and the old man but I feel like they would prefer to live in the forest, so I'm, I might have to expand my little village over there a little bit. I don't know. But I'm sure the snow has some... something. Some NPC that likes to live there. I don't know which one would. Maybe a hard mode NPC if it's not any of the ones that I can get right now. But, yep, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna head down into the snow biome and see what we can find. Is this a good place to dig down in? I might go over to the next pit. I can't tell if the background here is different at all. I don't know if it's... It looks like the one of the old ones. I'm pretty sure with those trees in the background and the little frozen lakes, but I'm pretty sure it's an old one. Okay, right here. This is where we're going to go down into. Break open this little area here. We don't slip and fall and see what we can find down there because we do need to do some underground exploration, but hey, why not? Go through this way. So already a dead end. That's just fantastic. Dig through a pile of ice. Ice and snow, down into the cold, frozen, unforgiving depths. Good thing I have my trident with me because this chill debuff is gonna be brutal. Don't dig a hole in the uh, in the water. That's a bad idea. Don't dig a hole in the water. You won't need the trident. Ice slimes everywhere. Can I reach them with this? I can. Apparently, whenever you click it a second time, it just kind of sits there. So once you wind it up, you throw it, and then you hold it. You can get it to do a good chunk of damage. Ball of hurt. It's definitely got an upgrade. Because I seem to remember it just being like, you just throw it. Just like that. That's it. Just a regular old standard flail. It looks like it does more damage as well, but I'm not 100% certain. Oh, we want to go up. Does this take us back to this path? I'm pretty sure that's where this goes. There's another pit over that way. Does it go back up to the top? It looks like it does. We want to go down. That is the goal here. It's a shame this doesn't produce any kind of light, except whenever you throw it. Well, I don't know if it makes light necessarily, but it does make particles appear. Doesn't look like it really makes any light, but that's all right. Oh, we got a minecart track. That's very lucky. Got some amethyst up there. Let's just take a ride on the track and see where it takes me. Go on. Let's go through very carefully. You never know what you might come across. There we go, life crystal, that's good. It's essential. We're out of the ice biome, it looks like. It looks like this is a dead end. Let's hop back on the track and go the other way. And if that's a dead end, then we'll just come back and go down that pit over there. Slow down. Slow, low, 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 low down. Okay. Gold. Always got to take the gold. Gold is always valuable. Always acceptable. Another life crystal up there. There's some purple up there. No, don't drown in the ice water. Up. Ascend. It's a demon altar. Oh, ice torches. Anything different about these? Just the same old, same old. Looks like the same sprite. Still cool, though. I like that blue light, though. That definitely looks different. It looks like it's a lot more blue now. Ow! God! Was that a trap? Oh, my. 105 damage. Just base. 
reduced ever so slightly by my armor. And a how long? Oh my god. I This thing might very well kill me. Well, that's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous amount. Campfire. I'll set a campfire. Hopefully that will stop the spread. Oh, that was very close. Okay, there's the traps. There's the traps I've been so horrified about. Let's actually use those life crystals. Might be the only thing saving me. Oh my god. Pay attention. The world is in extraordinarily inhospitable. Remember, let's put my gold in here. Up to a whole whopping two gold. This is fantastic. I can only imagine what I would normally have if I didn't get murdered a million times. Probably have some pylons by now. Well, this doesn't look like a dead end, so I think we're going to go down this way. Should have brought a danger sense potion with me or something. Ow. That's not a ton of damage. But if they keep hitting me like that, there's another torch. Or not another torch. There's another trap down there. I will just shoot you. I have no need to run down there. I foresee these slimes also at some point being a problem. So I'll just deal with these right now. Ah, come on. Oh, come on. I have to be at least grazing them. This is why I don't go ranger. I just do not... The whole accuracy thing? It's not really a, a hallmark of me. Not something that anybody has ever claimed that I am. Accurate. Well, we're in the corruption now. Thankfully, no enemies should really spawn. Unless there's some new pre-hard mode underground corruption enemies I don't know about. Which, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. Ooh, diamonds. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Might have to make some diamond trees. There we go. I'm sure that the uh, demolitionists down there would really appreciate that. All right, we've got our first house. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take these chandeliers, plunk them back down. What do we got in the chest? An ice blade. Well, that's, that's fairly decent for a ranged attack weapon. I have so much stuff in my inventory that I have favorited. That's fine. We'll hold on to that. Take the rest of it. What do we got here? Hunter potion. That could be useful. Oh, the chandelier moves whenever I run into it. I suppose that makes sense in real life if I ran into a chandelier head first. I'd, I'd probably make it move a little bit. Anyway, down. I know there's slush blocks over here. Those could potentially be useful. Might be worth grabbing them. I think I will do that. I'm running out of torches as well. I probably should have bought another big pile more. I have scarab bombs as well. I might actually try one of these out. See what happens. Ah, get me out of here. Oh, that's very cool. A nice little tunnel that I can dig for myself down here. And it's just a little bit wide enough for me to be able to reach through. That'd make exploration pretty easy. I'm going to have to hopefully be able to make more of those. I assume they don't just specifically spawn from chests or from bottles in the desert. There is a Viking. I wonder if these deal damage to mobs as well. Stay right there. Don't move. He moved. Okay, well, there's another house. Ah, it's enough knockback to drive them back. He cannot ascend. Ah. Not as much damage as the spear, the trident, but still fairly decent. Ow, immediately run into a trap. That's just fantastic. What a great thing to walk into. This place is booby-trapped. Okay, ice skates. Those are going to be helpful for navigating down here. Take the chest with me. I need to get rid of some of this excess junk I don't need. I do have a pile of junk in my inventory. Okay, moving right on along. This has been a much more... Oh, good, a blizzard in a bottle, too. Okay, this has been a much more valuable, rewarding expedition. I don't know why I'm worried about fall damage. I forgot I had a lucky horseshoe on. And I have extra jump. Soon, hopefully, I get powered up enough to be able to fight a boss. I'm gonna start with King Slime. I don't know if there's any new mechanics or with the bosses or not or if they just deal significantly increased damage hopefully there's something a little bit new in store ah that's quite a pit ice bat there's the ice bat get it it seems like the projectile looks a lot different as well maybe it's just been a while since i've used this as a weapon just a random chest sitting out in the open like that down there is that a mimic is there pre-hard mode mimics I don't know why, but I just don't trust it. Okay. There's another house. Houses on top of houses on top of houses. What do you do? Are you are you a threat? You are not a threat. You are just a house. Or not a house. You are just a, a thing. Okay. Flurry boots. Wearer can run super fast. Excellent. 
Invisibility potion. That looks a little bit different. What did it say? And, and lowers the spawn rate of enemies. Interesting. Doesn't just make you invisible. Now it actually is useful. Get some more gold, and then we'll go over to that house over there. I will hold you at bay. You cannot stop me. The ice is my ally. I will turn the biomes against their denizens slowly but surely. Their power will be mine. That is a lot of Vikings. It's a whole raiding party down there. Ah, come on, have at me. Ah, you're having a little bit too much again. I don't like it when they have that much of me. Come on, jump. If you're gonna jump, jump. Don't just tease me like that. Get out of the water. Step on the pressure plate. That'd be hilarious. Wipe them all out. Or I'll just get rid of it. Okay, here we go. They're just kind of congregating down here a little bit. I, that's... Spear. There we go. That's right. There's the damage. Big damage. They're all dead. No helmet. That's a shame. It's like one of my favorite vanity pieces in the whole entire thing. Another blizzard in a bottle. So melee speed versus movement speed. I'll have them both. Why not? I'll save them. Get rid of that. We all... Spelunker potion. We'll take that. Get rid of the little stuff. I already have a full inventory. Well, I guess we'll get rid of the slush. I don't need that rope. Healing potion, we'll take that. Hmm, spike slime. Okay, I, from the very beginning, do not like that. And I'm out of torches. Okay, I can make more, though. I have a pile of slime and wood. There we go. What is this? Temple Raider. Okay, that's the next achievement. Breach the temple walls. Come on, ice bat. Ha! Ha! Oh, another chest just sitting out in the open like that up there. That's interesting. Frozen solid. Was that normally a mechanic from Ice Bats? I don't remember if that was always a mechanic. Do they look a little bit different to anybody else? They look like they got an updated sprite as well. Honestly, this is not really the perilous danger that I thought it was going to be. I suppose because I haven't really come across very many ice slimes. I suppose that's probably because I haven't come across very many spiked ice slimes. These still do hit very, very hard. Okay, what do we got in here? Another ice blade. This one's not small, so we'll trade it out. Hold on to this, probably sell it. Hmm. I'm running out of things. Gold, though. Definitely gonna be having that. I guess I have to leave that behind for right now. Is that more diamonds? This spelunkeration is turning out to be extraordinarily useful. Let's take the rubies as well. We're gonna need those to make the slime crowns, assuming we don't get a slime rain. Hmm, big wide open space. Another house, potentially? Another life crystal, for sure. Am I over the 200? I don't really... Okay, I can still get another one before the Eye of Cthulhu starts spawning in randomly. Would really rather not have to face off against that unprepared. I foresee that being a very serious problem. More diamonds. The ice biome is just yielding so much fruit. Okay, let's go down this way dead end. Okay, and we'll go back up this way. It's a heart reach potion. That could be valuable. Let's just take the invisibility potion now. There we go. Completely invisible. They can't see me. I don't want to be seen. Don't mind me. Just a random puff of smoke flying across your biome. Not a threat to nobody. Alright, let's throw another scarab bomb out somewhere. See if that goes anywhere. It's going to go up. Okay, well, that's not really where I wanted it to go. But there is something down there, it looks like. We'll just throw a bomb fish here. Might open it up a little bit more. Not really. Okay. Leads to another dead end. Huh. Well, where is... Maybe I could backtrack a little bit. Looks like there's a path over there. So that might be where I go next. If I can make it over there in one piece. Hopefully. That's the dream, anyway. Nope, nope, nope. Not a threat. Just a... Just a disembodied cloud flying through the underworld, or the underground. Don't mind me. Yep, just me here, doing doing Terrarian things. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah. Sneak attack! Yeah! Sneak attack. Alright, fine. Let's tangle with this thing. From a comfortable, safe distance. There we go. Hey, look! No-Eyed Willy, or Wily. Wily, yeah. No-Eyed Wily. I think that's what it is. So anything valuable? Green counterweight? Nothing incredibly useful. All right, let's go down this way. Oh, there's a skeleton miner again. Another fellow spelunkerator that met a terrible fate in these frozen caves. What a shame. Cyan husk. Well, that's different. 
That definitely got a new sprite. Interesting. Well, another scarab bomb. Let's send it over that way. There we go. Right in there. Ah. Come on, Undead Miner. Give me something useful. Give me that helmet. Just a bomb. All right, that's fine. I never get that thing. I never really need it necessarily, but I've always wanted it. I think it looks cool. Probably very useful early game if you manage to get it, like, very, very beginning of the game. If you stumble across one of those things and you get one. There's a Snowflinks. Are you a serious threat to me? No, you still have, like, massive knockback. Okay, well, you're both stuck up there. You can just stay up there. I'm sure I've unlocked a bestiary entry about it now. We finally filled out the first page. And we're on to the second already. Where are Snowflinks's? Underground snow, haven't learned anything about it yet. Other than that it is in the snow biome. Which, I mean, I suppose that makes sense, considering that it's called a snow flinks and not a underworld flinks. Which would probably be the worst thing ever. I just imagine a, a tiny furry fireball charging at you from a distance, just kind of exploding on contact. Don't want to give you any ideas, though, for logic. No ideas, but I'm just saying. Hey, there's one of those green fairy things. All right. What's up there, buddy? What are you doing? Where am I going? I'm going this way? It wants me to follow it. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold on a second. I can't fly through solid matter like you can. Oh, there's a chest over there. Okay. And it exploded. Well, that's pretty neat. It led me to a chest. Huh. Finally, a critter It's actually friendly down here. Jeez. Everything else is just kind of extraordinarily hostile. It looks like there's a house up there as well on that side. Very useful adventure indeed. Okay, well, we'll just get this from the ground without flooding it. Snowball cannon. Okay. That's potentially very useful. Okay. Let's take all that. Got ourselves a suspicious-looking eyeball. Just drink all those invisibility potions. Eventually, I'm just going to fade out of reality. Um, is there a way to get past this without causing a serious flood? Really would like to not... Oh, it's going to go right into it. Well, that's not the direction I wanted to go. I suppose no. There is no way to get out of this without causing a flood. That's fine. I think it looks better with a pile of water down here anyway. What a great idea. Okay. Well. The trap is gone, so that's not a threat anymore, at least. Or was it? Okay, never mind. I've spoken too quickly. And now these guys are all up here. How about I just throw a bomb, bomb fish, and you all just come down here and I'll kill you one at a time. Come on. I said one at, one at a time. Snow blinks. Blinks. Another miner. There's a whole bunch of these down here. Oh god, no, 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 no. Nope, nope. Yep, those things are still just as awful as always. Should have seen that coming. I don't remember them dropping healing potions, really. Ah, I don't want it to be the end. I have too much to do. There we go. A lot of hearts up there. I'm going to go for them. Get them. Continue exploration. Oh, maybe it wasn't a house up here. Maybe it was just that waterfall in the shadows. I thought it was a house. A lot of bats over there. Hmm. How do I go about doing this without getting murdered? Just stand here and let them all come to me. I think that's a great idea. Working out very effectively. There we go. Thank the lords of Terraria for AIs not always being the brightest. Okay, some more gold. Another life crystal. Flaming arrows I definitely don't need. I don't want to go over this threshold, because once I get to 200, I have Cthulhu could be starting to show up. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm assuming it'd be awful, because I am not prepared. Maybe my weapons might be all right, but I'm certainly not able to survive his attacks, I'm sure. Ah! Oh boy, okay. Two at once. That's very necessary. Thank you for that. Alright, so it looks like I've reached a little bit of a dead end over here, so I think now would be a great time to head back and take a look at what all we've collected. Which is quite a good handful of things. I think I've spent an entire day down there. This whole episode will just be me running around collecting things in the snow biome. Hopefully that's, uh, interesting. All right, well, it looks like I could make a pile of gold bars, but I'm not able to make an entire set of gold armor yet. I might just craft 
some set pieces just to replace the weaker parts of this armor. Maybe I'll make myself a tungsten helmet. Still gives me nine armor altogether. And then maybe the gold greaves, perhaps? There we go. A little bit extra armor. I am essentially a rainbow man right now. I can't make any new things. I really didn't get all that much ore down there. I just kind of collected a good bit of gold. That's something that's pretty useful. I have 13 now, which means it is possible for me to buy one of those pylons. Oh my god, there are so many stars. I wonder how much these are worth. Might be able to actually sell some of them. But, okay, they're not worth all that much. Just a couple silver apiece. I have... Where are you? About 22 altogether. I could definitely max out my mana if I wanted to. Let's go buy a forest pylon, though. I want to buy one of those things. What we got here? Bunny ears, bunny tail. Okay, these are different. Okay, forest pylon. Teleport to another pylon. When two villagers are nearby, you can only place one per type in the matching biome. Here we go. All right, where shall I put it? I'll put it in the center of town, maybe? Put it right here. There we go. Hey, all right. Am I able to teleport just from the map as well? We're not close enough to a pylon to teleport with the pylon network. Okay, so I imagine uh, I go and buy another pylon. I'll be able to teleport from the map. But right now, I do not have enough gold to buy any of the other ones, which is a shame. But that's all right. All in due time. I might do some stuff off camera, digging around, and see if I can get enough gold to link up all these together. But it's like another 16 gold for these two biomes. I might be relatively well equipped to go and explore the desert, but that is something that is probably going to end up happening next time. Because I believe the video has been going on for long enough, so... Being that I don't have anything else to build, and I got a good bit of gear, I'd say we've made some progress. Is that an enchanted nightcrawler just crawling across the surface? Do these things come out at night now? Okay, getting sidetracked. Anyway, like I said, episode's been going on for long enough, made a good bit of progress, and I think I'm going to call it an episode now. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it, and as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one of those, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.